Alright, now we're about to start the standoff. Um, don't go these stairs, you can't really get a good viewpoint until a little later in the fight. There's three waves of enemies you're gonna fight. The first wave just comes from where I'm aiming now and to your right where you came from. So just concentrate your fire there and kill whoever you can. Really try to keep Rico and the other guy alive because they actually do kill some people. They actually are a decent use. And there's always something that tells you when the next wave is coming, like they s like either Rico or the other guy, I think his name's Narville or something, I don't know. They both do something that lets you know he's coming, uh, the next wave's coming. The first wave ends by Rico trying to open the door and failing. And the second wave ends of them both thinking it's clear and then they run back. So now you see, um, or you can kind of see Rico running for the door over there. And I'm aiming where they're coming from next. So you hear this little drop ship type thing coming in. Which means the next wave is coming. Throw a grenade right there and it'll make your day a lot easier. If you can get another one up there, that'll also make your day easier. I luckily killed them. If not, run down the stairs and shoot them from there. Because it's probably one of the hardest groups to deal with in this fight. And after you kill them, they're going to come from the same place the first wave spawned from, from the left and the right. So I keep looking over here because during the third wave they come from there. And the third wave is coming very soon. Very soon. Trust me, I know. So once you save the checkpoint, that's when they start coming. So right away, look at that area the two holes in the wall. Nat go, not Narville. You're going to meet Narville. So yeah, they say they're coming from upstairs and that's when you can start killing these guys. This is really not as hard as you might want to think it is. Pretty much they fall down in order. You can kill one guy, reload, and when you're done reloading, the next guy will be coming down. So it's pretty much just a chain right here if you get your little pattern going. And once these guys are dead, a tank comes in and makes your day a hell of a lot worse. So after about five or six of those guys come, you'll see these guys down here. So just continue taking those guys out. They're coming once again from the left and the right. Now you can hear the tank. Make sure you have a grenade. And once the tank gets about here and starts opening the doors, throw the grenade right in the middle of them. And now just worry about the last few guys and you'll be able to continue into your next area. Which is another standoff, which sucks even worse than this one.
So this door opens up and you can run in here and they give you a little smart mouth conversation about lunches. Gars is being a little smart ass. So once they start moving, that's your cue to move to. What you want to do first is right off this ramp, start sprinting over to the staircase over there and show right in this corner and if you're crouching in this corner they can't kill you because they can't see you and you're just gonna keep popping up and killing who you can and just keep repeating and eventually your ISA guys like that will take over and now like the actual standoff begins it sucks balls. So come on to this ladder right here and grab the sniper. Now, if you haven't been able to tell, the sniper does use the six axis controls. It's pretty cool, actually. So now you're just going to shoot everyone. Especially people that come up on your right side, because people that come up on your right side have the tendency to rush you more than the people on the left. But keep aiming straight ahead. There are turrets, and on lower difficulties you can use them, but on higher difficulties, they are just going to shoot you right off those turrets like you wouldn't believe. We do use them later in the fight though. And don't bother running out to resurrect your partners because they'll get resurrected when you kill everyone anyway. And the next wave comes. There's a total of, I believe, four waves in this fight. And once you're done this standoff, um, you're done this level. This level is basically just standoff after standoff. See, like I said, the people on the right are more aggressive than the people straight ahead of you or to the left. So you definitely want to deal with them first. Luckily, your teammates do some damage. If the guy who's covering, like, directly behind you is, like, three feet away from you, if he goes down, get him up because he'll protect you.